I'm gonna show you how to make these yummy, crispy overnight waffles. All right, so for the ingredients that you'll need for these overnight waffles are flour, salt, yeast, eggs, butter, sugar, milk, baking soda, and water. So it comes together rather quickly because it's a two-step process. We are gonna have these for breakfast for dinner, so I'm making them in the morning on the weekend. Um, but if it's for the weekend, I would make these the night before. So after I fix dinner, clean everything up, then I would just quickly make these and then let them sit. Um, I do use I do use a leftover um, ice cream container. We have two different ones. Um, I do double the recipe because the, it will last in the fridge for a couple days so I can fix it for the kids for breakfast or uh, Matt will eat some for lunch because he loves waffles. So I just use these containers because it will double in size once it sits for a couple hours. All right, so a quick tip I have, you do have to activate your yeast. Um, and if you're using like a glass dish, your water does need to be warm, not like hot or scolding hot, just warm to do it. You can follow the instructions on your um, yeast packet. But if you're using like a glass dish, usually they're in your cupboards and they're cold. So I fill them up with hot water and let them uh, warm up just a little bit because once you put that warm water into your cold dish, it's gonna cool the water down. So that could prevent it from activating the yeast. So that's just something that I do that might help you out if you're having issue activating the yeast. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add our two packets of yeast. This is a doubled recipe. So I will add the link below where you can get the actual recipe yourself. Right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna activate my yeast. I'm just gonna add it to one cup of water. So this recipe that I'm doing is doubled, but I'll post the link below for the single recipe. So I'm gonna let this sit until it starts foaming up on top and the next thing I'm gonna get my butter warmed and or my milk warmed and my butter melted. All right, so to my, all right, to my pot, I'm gonna add in one cup of milk and we're just gonna warm it up. You're not gonna boil it or scald it or none of that, you're just gonna Warm it up and you're going to add in your two sticks of butter. Sorry, I was reading it wrong. It's four cups of milk for a doubled recipe. I thought it was some, like, not a lot. So that's three. And four. Now I'm just going to add the other stick and then I'm going to let this warm through until all the butter is melted. All right, so to our bowl that we're gonna have everything in, we're gonna add in our flour, sugar, and salt. So since I'm doubling it, it's gonna be four cups of flour. And then everything will just go into here. All right, so we're gonna mix everything up, but I'm not sure if you can tell the difference. Let's see if I can hold this up. So you see how that little thick layer on top is right there? So that's where it's activated. So my butter is almost done, but this is pretty much good to go. So we have that ready and I'm waiting for the butter to finish. Okay, so I have my mixture, my flour, salt, and sugar right here. And I just whisk it all together. And I'm just gonna add in my milk and butter first, just to cool it down a little bit because we don't want to mess up the yeast. Just gonna add this and I'm just gonna whisk it all together. And this, doubling it will make a lot of waffles, but we don't like, I mean, for making the Belgian waffle with a Belgian waffle maker, doubling it is probably best if you have at least four people in your house. Um, if it was two of you, the regular recipe would be fine. Um, but we tried it with a Belgian waffle maker and it used a lot of batter. So we just use our regular waffle maker and it works just fine. But we double it because Everybody can eat like three waffles <laughs> if we're not fixing, you know, like eggs or anything with it. But since we're having breakfast for dinner, we'll probably have eggs and bacon and then we'll have leftover batter. All right, so I just make sure all the batter is off the corners right here. 
that's where it'll get stuck. And if you use like a see-through bowl, you'll be able to see that so you don't have any clumps. Now I'm just going to add the yeast. And try to get all that out. The yeast is what makes it so, 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 so good. All right, and the baking soda and the eggs will go in right before you fix your waffles. So we're just going to mix this all up. And I'm going to let it sit on the counter for about six to eight hours. Makes me nervous this container is a little bit smaller than the other one I use. <laughs> it's making me nervous. But we should be okay. So I'm going to put the lid on it. I'm just going to put my lid on and I don't seal it completely. I leave it a little lip open just for air and all that kind of jazz. Uh, you can put saran wrap. Sometimes I put saran wrap on there, but uh, I just let this sit on my counter for about eight hours, six to eight hours until, until at least you'll see on the sides that it has come up a good ways up and then we can go to the next step. All right, so it's been a couple hours. It is now six o'clock. So it's, I think it's been eight hours. So you can see how it went all the way to the top. You can see it bubbly. Let me show you up close. This is what the yeast does. Makes all those yummy bubbles. So it's gonna be a nice crispy waffle. Okay, so the last thing that you have to do is add in your eggs and your baking soda. <clears throat> so it's one, one fourth of a teaspoon. And I'm doubling it, so I'll do two of those. And then four eggs, which I crack in here. And then I'll mix them ahead of time. And I have my waffle maker over here preheating so I can start making waffles. Because waffles, unless you have like numerous waffle makers or like the two at a time we only have the this one oops i'm missing an egg then you're gonna stand up here and make waffles all morning but they're that good and sometimes i put the oven on low like a 200 degrees like the lowest setting you can and then make them as i go and just pop them in the oven and then people can go by and grab them because they're that good you can eat like three or four all right, so we're just gonna whisk this right here. Just get all of the sides. Oh, don't make a big mess up right here. And this makes a lot. I mean, this is a big thing of it. But there's five of us, and four of us will eat. Is there five? Yeah, five of us and four of us will eat like three waffles. And I set this on the counter. This was on my counter the entire time. I didn't put it in the fridge or anything. It sat right on my counter. Alright. See how full this is like an entire full ice cream container of mix. <laughs> So I'm just going to finish incorporating all these eggs and baking soda, and then we will start making waffles. All right, so we're going to start making waffles. So I have my waffle maker. Mine is old. This is a really old waffle maker, so I don't really touch this because it gets extremely hot. So it's on like medium, I guess, because there's highs down here. But I butter mine. I also use the spray, but I ran out of the spray like two or three times ago. So I just use a little basting brush. And just get some butter on there especially in like the little center part where you're gonna be pulling it out but it does come out really easy so <clears throat> um, I just use any measuring one that I have and it is watery that is okay Alright, so 
So now you just pretty much follow it into your your cooking instructions on yours. So what I do, I leave the lid right here so that I can put my cup. I leave it open and I let it cook on the bottom a little bit and then because if I put this down now it's gonna start like spewing over and cleaning up my countertop with this stuff is a pain. So I just leave it open for like a minute and then close it and then wait until the steam and all that stuff goes away. That's when you know it's done. I have a fork ready to go to pick them up. And this is what happens when you overfill it. It's all around the sides. Dang, don't it. And there is your nice crispy waffle. Listen to this. Yes. This is how we like our waffles, but definitely give it a try. We love these.